I'm George Walker, author of the Design Matters column in Popular Woodworking Magazine. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to draw a volute, a classical form that can unlock your inner eye. For centuries, apprentices learned basic compass layouts to gain practical and artistic skill at the workbench. These simple layouts are just as relevant today as ever. Once you become familiar with the formal compass layouts, you find yourself able to experiment. This compass becomes a tool to spark your intuition. Let's start by drawing a volute, a graceful unfurling spiral. This form is inspired by nature and reminds us how new life springs from the earth. In a furniture design, a small volute might be found on the end of a chair arm. First, we're gonna draw a formal volute. And this is just simply drawn with a vertical center line and a horizontal. And notice in the center, there's an eye, a circle. It's called an eye. Think of that as like an egg that the form springs out of. Also notice that there's two 45 degree diagonals. And in those diagonals, there are some reference points. And I've got them marked one, two, three, and four. Those are actually pivot points for drawing arcs with compasses. And I also draw the, also label the, the center lines on the horizontal, A, B, C, and D, just for reference. These little uh, pivot points, if you spread them further apart, the volute will dive more aggressively. If you bring them closer together, the volute will be a lot more gradual. And you can play around with this yourself. To start to draw a volute, once I have these little reference points on these diagonals, I take a pair of dividers and I set them to that width. And then I come to the top of my eye and I just step up six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my starting point for my volute. So I'm gonna make a little reference mark right there. Now I take my compass and I put the pivot point on that first reference that's marked one and I adjust the pencil up here to my starting point and I draw one quarter circle. Now I move my pivot point over to the second reference that's marked two. And you can see that moves the pencil out further. So then I have to adjust my pencil, screw it in until it blends with that. And then I'll draw another quarter circle. Move my pivot point around again, down to the reference mark three. We're just walking around this, adjust my pencil in. Make this a little darker. Move my pivot point over to this one marked four. And we just keep walking this compass around and bringing the pencil in to line up with where we ended up at. And if I've done this right, this volute will dive into that eye right at the south pole. close to it. There. That's how to draw a form of volute. Now on a furniture design, uh, a lot of times you're trying to draw on a little piece of wood that's very small, it might be rough in texture. You really can't get a, a compass to manipulate inside of a very small form. So you need to be able to draw this freehand. But you can take a few things from this formal drawing to help you to actually draw a freehand volute. So I'm going to draw a freehand volute up here in the corner that's about the size of a soup can and show how, that, how that's done. So we start with a vertical and a horizontal. 
and we'll draw a little eye in there, maybe something the size of a dime. Now, I also want to put a reference point in here where the volute starts. That's the outer limit of the volute. And just judging by eye, I just make four other marks about the same distance out. These are just references to help you to make those quarter circles dive in, because we're just going to, still just like this, we're going to draw a series of quarter circles. And I also like to make another reference line halfway in. You can do that by eye easy enough. These sort of looks like a bombardier site or something, but these are just reference lines to help you guide your little quarter circles. So now I'm ready to start drawing this. I know it begins here, but my arc is going to go down and it's not, it's going to dive in towards the eye just a little bit. So you, based on these little references I put in here, I'm going to, I'm going to have this arc come to here. So my first arc is going to come right to here. And my second arc is going to start here, but it's going to come a little closer right to here. So I'm going to My third arc is actually going to hit this halfway hash mark. And the next one is going to be in a little bit from that. This last one is really close to the eye. And then finally it dives down into the eye. Then you can come back. I tend to draw these things a little bit too flat and you can kind of correct it. But you can see how you're just drawing a series of quarter circles and you're using those little reference lines to help guide your eye to draw a freehand loop.